Hello everyone! This video would focus on the steps on how to determine the cube root of a given number. Before we go over this example right here, please feel free to check out the description box below for the link of the other series of topics related to radical expressions. Now let's have a review on the parts and definition of radical expressions. Please remember that these are the parts of every radical expression. The first part is the radical symbol. The reason why this is called radical expression is because it is an expression that contains the radical symbol. Our a here is called a coefficient. A coefficient is a number multiplied to the radical expression. And the letter n here is called the index. This tells you which root you're looking for. Please remember that if the value of the index is not written in there, it means that that invisible number is 2. We also have a letter C, and this letter C is named as the radicand. A radicand is the value that you are taking the root of. So this expression that we have here is read as A times the nth root of C. So this is read as square root of 36. So if we wanted to know what is the value of square root of 36, we can go ahead and equal this whole expression to x. So this is read as square root of 36 equals x. Now we are going to rewrite this into its equivalent exponential form. This expression that, or this equation that we have here means that x squared is equal to 36. What is x? So if you notice, our x here becomes the base of the exponential form, while our index of 2, which is invisible, becomes the exponent in the exponential form, and our radicand, which is 36, will become the answer to the exponential expression. What we're trying to do right now is we're supposed to determine a value, the value of x such that when we multiply this x by itself twice, it will give us 36. Meaning if we have blank times blank equals 36, and it should be the same number. So then these two numbers would be 6 times 6. So 6 times 6 is 36. And so we can go ahead and rewrite this as 6 squared equals 36. And so this tells us that our x is 6. So then this square root of 36 then will equal to 6. So that's how we evaluate radical expression. So these are the parts and definition of radical expressions. Okay. Going back to the problem right here, we are supposed to evaluate cube root of 80. There are steps that we need to follow in order that we can evaluate this expression that we have right here. The first step is to divide the radicand with a prime number starting with 2 and continue dividing with the rest of the other prime numbers until you get a remainder of 1. So I will put the list of the first 10 prime numbers on the side. So in this problem right here, we are supposed to again divide this radicand um, 80 with the first prime number, which is 2. So I'm going to go ahead and show the work on the side here. So I'm going to write 80. And then I will again divide this by the first prime number. I will put 2 in there. So 80 divided by 2 is 40. And then I will continue to do that. 40 divided by 2 is 20. So I write 20 right here. And then 20 divided by 2 is 10. And so I can still divide this by 2. That would be 10 divided by 2 is 5. So I'm going to write 5 right here. Then I will divide that by another prime number, which is 5. So 5 divided by 5. So I will put the 5 right here. And so the remainder now is 1. And so we already have a remainder of 1. Therefore, we can go ahead and say that the prime factors of 80 are these red numbers right here. So I'm going to go ahead and write that um, up here. So that is the cube root of. I'm going to go ahead and list all of these down. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 2s, and 1, 5. 
Since this is a cube root, what are we going to do here is that we are going to come up with a group of three numbers. In this case right here, we have four twos. We only need three because there's three of them. So I will group them together. Once they are grouped together, there's three of them. They are able to get out of the radical symbol right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put that up here. So that's two. And so all the rest are not, they don't come in three, so we keep them inside the radical sign. And so this um, expression would come out, The uh, we put the two, which is the constant, I put the two here, and then that's the cube root of whatever's the left over, that would be two times five, so I write it down. So I simplify the ones that are inside the radical sign, so that would be two cube root of two times five is 10. So that is a cube root right there. And so this is the simplified version of the cube root of 80. Okay, now let's move on to the next example. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, the first step is to divide the radicand with the prime number starting with two and continue dividing with the rest of the other numbers until you get a remainder of one. So we will divide this by two, and then if two doesn't work, then we will divide it by three, five, and so on until we get a remainder of one. I'm gonna show the work on the side here. So I got a remainder of one. So then we can go ahead and move on to the second step. Write out the prime factors from step one and simplify. So I'm gonna write all of these out into this um, expression. Okay, so what we do next is we group them into groups of three. So in this case right here, we have three threes here. So these three will be grouped together and they are able to get out of the radical symbols. I will put that three right there so that we can go ahead and say that we have three, the one that we put outside, and then the leftover would be two and seven inside the radical sign. So that would be three and we get a two times seven. So that we can go ahead and uh, multiply these two numbers right here. So this would come out three times the cube root of 14. So this is the simplified version of the cube root of 378. Did you get the same answers as this? Yay! Good, perfect. Now let's move on to the next example. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. The first step is to divide the radicand with the prime number starting with two and continue dividing with the rest of the other prime numbers until you get a remainder of one. So we're going to divide this 648 by two. And if two doesn't work, then we move on to three and so on. So I'm going to show the work on the side here. And so we got a remainder of one. And so the second step is to write out the prime factors from step one and we simplify. So I'm going to go ahead and write it up here. Okay, so then we are going, since this is a cube root, we're going to group these numbers into three. So these three twos will be grouped together and they are able to get out of the radical symbol. They become one as just two there. And then this three threes that we have here will be combined together. They come out to just be three. And so we can go ahead and write it down here. This would be the... Um, the first two numbers that are uh, we group together, so that would be two and three. So I write two times three, and then we have the cube root of whatever's left over inside the radical um, symbol, that is three. And so we can simplify this, two times three is six, and that is uh, the cube root of three is the simplified version of this radical expression that we have up there. Did you get the same answers as this? Yeah. Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!